Hey everybody, today we are in Istanbul and I'll be showing you the resting place of one of the most famous companions of Prophet Muhammad, the peace and blessings be upon him, and then we will go up to Piyalossi Hill with a cable car to see the breathtaking views of the Golden Horn. Now before all of this, you must check out this halwa shop when you are in the area. Okay, so we're here. This is called Yaqub Afendi, which is opposite the uh, Mezar of the great Sahaba, Sayyidina Ayyubul Ansari and uh, this is a very famous place to come and eat uh, this uh, halwa over here. So we have different flavors. We have um, this sade flavor, which is quite a plain flavor. This is um, a chocolate flavor and this is a pistachio flavor. So for me, I'm going to be having this pistachio one over here. It looks wonderful. It looks vibrant. Bismillah. Mmm. Whoa, the texture is blissful. You have to come here. I'm not going to explain it, just come and have it. Coming to you from Yaqub Effendi, which was formed in 1887, 101 years before I was born. The Ayyub Sultan Jami, which is located in the Ayyub district of Istanbul, is considered to be one of the holiest mosques in Turkey. Abu Ayyub Al Ansari, who was the companion of Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, was martyred during the first Arab siege of Constantinople, which is present-day Istanbul, in the 7th century, and he was believed to be buried somewhere near the complex. It wasn't until five years after the conquest of Constantinople by Sultan Mehmed Fati II that the tomb of Ayyub al-Ansari was found and the Ayyub Sultan Jami was constructed beside it in the year 1458 under the command of Sultan Fatih, who is known as Mehmet the Conqueror. Due to the sacredness of the site, the Yub Sultan Jami was used as a ceremonial site for the coronation of the new sultans of the Ottoman Empire. Words cannot express the spiritual tranquility one feels in this sacred site. It is something that can only be felt during your visit. So what I'm going to do is, uh, here is, it says TF2 Ayup to Pierre Lotti. Pierre Lotti is, um, we're going to be going up. This is a French, a very famous French guy, that um, a French individual that um, the Sultan's named this hill after. And maybe I'll explain why. So let's walk over here. Okay, so we have to go down um, first. And then we'll get our tickets from over here. Teleferic, remember, I've said this a few times before. And this is like one of the Turkish words of the week. Teleferic means cable cars, okay? And uh, we can use our Istanbul cart over here as well. So that's kind of cool. So now I'm gonna wait. Ben Beklejan. The UP Lotte Aero cable car line opened in November 2005 in order to provide easy access for both local and foreign tourists. Pialotti district constitutes the most important observation deck of the Golden Horn. There are a total of four cable cars with a journey time of just under three minutes and a line length of 384 meters. The operational hours are between 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. The cost for this cable car journey is just four Turkish liras each way, which is 27 cents, and you can use your Istanbul cart to pay for this. All right, so we are here at Piyolosi Hill and uh, we are here during golden hour. We've come from Ayub Sultan over here. Right at the back, as you can see, the cable cars brought us up. It's not so long, it only takes about three minutes journey. And uh, from here, you can see the view of the entire Golden Horn. 
So the entire Golden Horn, so you can see Golasa Tower is right there in the distance. You can kind of see that faintly from up here. And there's also a lot of cafes over here, which we're going to show you in, in the videos. So might go and sit there and have a bit of coffee as well. But the views are sensational, the scintillating, you know, and you feel a lot of um, peace stood up here because you can kind of have a look and just take in everything that you're seeing. You know, this is maybe I've said it before. This is my favorite city in the world. For me, it's the best city in the world. And then you come up over here and you see this view. You can take a stroll from the Ayub Sultan Jami up to the Pierre Lossi Hill, which was named after a French novelist who often came up here for inspiration. On your way up, you will see many small stalls selling handcrafted goods as well as the Ayub Cemetery that is situated along this hill. You can also choose to take the teleferric up to the Pierre Lossi Hill where many people gather to watch the remarkable sunset across the Golden Horn each evening. At the top of the hill, you'll also find the Pierre Lossi Cafe where you can enjoy traditional Turkish tea coffee, appetizers and desserts whilst taking in the breathtaking views of Istanbul. <laughs> 